All right, everybody give Mark Royal a congratulations when you get a shot. He got his second booking in the bag. That's awesome. Um, all right, so we want everybody to get their first, second, and all of that. Today, we're going to talk about the progression of it. All right, but first, I'm going to, I think, to, yeah, Terrell is on here. Let me show you something real quick. I didn't get a chance to see this yet, so I want to see what it says. Okay, let's try. Guys, my name's Terrell. I've been in uh, David's program for about a month. Um, I just closed my first deal last week for about $1,200. Um, we have another one coming up for about another 1200. I'm so excited to be part of his group. It, it's truly, it's been incredible. Like the calls, just everything, everything that I'm learning from the SEO to just how to market, just a completely different spin on business. Or I, I'm, I'm on a little walk right now. Um, but it's a completely different spin on business. I appreciate him so much. He's so knowledgeable, such a great guy to have in your corner. Um, yeah, he's been probably one of the best mentors I've ever had. I've only been been around him for a month, but just the knowledge, the game that you get from him is incredible. Um, I mean, you can use these skills in any other business to really help scale and lever and leverage leverage yourself. I know he's big on leverage, and I'm myself. I'm learning all about leverage, so it's been it's been a absolute game changer to be in his program. So I would get in his program ASAP because you're missing out on a lot of money out there. People are leaving a lot of meat on the bone, and guys that the guys and girls that are in his program. Are going to be feasting off of it so i'd get in the program asap if i were you thanks guys thank you all right man so i just like to say thank you for that uh terrell man happy to have you in the community um and anybody who hasn't gotten their first deal or their first booking or something yet uh today what i'm going to show you guys is extremely extremely important because you don't have to get your first booking in order to make money okay this is why i was urging you guys a little bit later a, a little bit earlier ago to hop into agency to partner because it makes it to where you're not sitting and only waiting on your deal. If you focus more on the partnership versus some up, upfront payments or versus uh, getting the booking or something like if you focus on the partnership and what's going to happen when you partner with them, then you'll get to the money faster. And I'm going to explain that in today's uh, Q&A. Um, I don't know if you guys got to see Mark's situation. But he uh, he's the one that just posted that he just got his second booking in the group. What's up, everybody? This is Mark, uh, Mark Royale on Facebook. Uh, been with the program about, you know, say a little over a month. Uh, you know, it took a while to get everything started. But once I got my systems in place and, you know, my builder roll, thumbtack, everything was a go from there. Um, got my first deal about, say, about two weeks ago, a little over two weeks ago. Um, about 1300 on that one. Got a lot more in the pipeline, so you know this works, people. You got to put put the effort forth, put the you know be motivated, and don't quit. Don't quit. You know, keep striving. Once you get that first one, sky's the limit. All right. So keep pushing, and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace. All right. So let's get to it. I'm gonna share my screen and uh, stop sharing right here. Let me see. Share point. Boom. Let's come over here. All right, so we're going to save all the questions for the end. I'm, I want to show you all what to do if you're having trouble, you know, getting your first, second, third or fourth booking or whether you're just having trouble scaling, period. Maybe you've been in a program and you haven't even made any money yet. All right. Look, if you focus on what I'm going to show you today, you're going to get money no matter what. All you have to do is go where the hot fish are are the fish that are swimming upstream. Um, I showed you all a while back a video of a bear. OK, of a bear. And then my wife circled around yesterday or the day before and she showed me a picture of some bears fishing. And what you'll notice in the video is that, man, matter of fact, let's just go over here to YouTube real quick. This is, is going to solve all your problems. If you can pay attention to the metaphor or the analogy, whatever you want to call it. If you pay attention, this is going to change everything in, in business for you. Hold on, man. Come on, man. Jesus, let me click. Let me click, baby. It has to do nothing but get in perfect range. All right. But look where the bears, these bears, you know, is going to be way more difficult for them. But these bears right here is going to be like, like easier for them. All they have to do is stand there because they're at the point of the lake or the body of water, whatever it is, is the stream where the fish jump out at them. They're at the point where the fish jumps out. All right. So when we're like marketing to people or trying to sell something to them and all of that, you need to be where they jump out. 
This is why I circled back around and started talking about Google ads for you guys. So it's amazing that you guys have been able to get some bookings off Facebook because technically marketing or running ads on Facebook, you're these bears down here. Yeah, you're in the direction of the fish. The fish are, are there, you understand, but it's a little bit more difficult because they have more places to escape to in this area right here. Right there, they got to go. They're positioned right where the fish have to jump up to try to get to this section right here. Google is that, okay? So you guys, we have been learning on Facebook, running Facebook ads, and you guys have been getting bookings. That's awesome. Some of you guys are booked up for months off of Facebook. That's awesome. So just imagine what you do with the irresistible offer if you were standing right here where these bears are standing, which is at Google. Why is Google the upstream fishing for the hot fish? Because it's a search engine. That means in order for you to get a call, somebody is on the other side of their computer right now typing this willfully, willingly, on their own, voluntarily typing in Party Buzz Los Angeles. They're typing this in. So if you're right here, or where is the damn, damn, this one ain't even got a snack pack. Hold on. Oof, what's happening to the snack pack? Anyway, if you're right there, or if you're at the top organically, those, you're going to be in front of people. They search for the services you have. You don't have to do anything but stand here. This is the bears. These people are the bears. This search box right here is the stream. And the, the keyword that those people typed in, that turns them into a fish. If you, do y'all get what I'm saying? So you're, you're a hot, they are a hot fish and you are upstream. And all you have to do is pause, open your mouth like these bears right here, like these dudes. They're going to get it. Look at them down there fighting. And that's representative uh, uh, of, you know, people fighting over clients, the same clients and all of that. They got to fight. But these dudes up here, look, they just got to wait patiently, wait patiently. And when one is hung, and when one is ready to hop up high enough, all they got to do is be in position. When it gets closer, it's way easy. Look, he got one. Hop right in his mouth. Pause. Look at that. Hold on. I want to pause. <laughs> Boom. Hold on. Where is it? Boom. Right in there. Like, you hear me? Like, <laughs> nothing but net. You hear me? Swish right there. That's the easiest aka client aka customer or whatever ever okay so you might have to stand here for a while but you're in position to get whoever types this in easiest and since you guys have the irresistible offer upstream you don't have to miss as many as this guy did so the reason why i didn't start you guys on google you're like well david well if it's like that how come you didn't start me here because leads from google since google knows how uh, uh how like high their ads convert based off of the intent of the people that search for stuff, they charge more per click. So at first I was a little, a little soft on you guys' uh, wallets and caring about all that extra bull crap. That's since I, I don't, look, I don't care no more. It's about you guys getting money, getting results. Okay. So if you ain't fearful, if you're not afraid or fearful, you should be putting up some of these damn Google ads. Those of you who are having issues getting a, a, a booking off of Thumbtack or Facebook, this is where you should freaking be. Don't be a baby. Put yourself up on Google. That is the upstream. So I just want to get that out of the way real quick. Next up, for those of you who are, are, are uh, struggling, I would strongly suggest after this call right here, you go and get into the agency to partner program. You don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't, you know, it doesn't bother me. But if you want to stop struggling, you want to get an email that says this, welcome to Easy Pay Partner Program, okay? They're going to give you uh, an affiliate or referral link, right? And you'll be able to log into your portal, okay? So then it will bring you here. These are all links, okay? All links to applications for people to sign up and get uh, their payment processors and their, their uh, payment gateways and all of that stuff like connected. Okay. So it's going to bring them to an easy merchant application. You know what I'm saying? And they can sign up for payment processing and all of that stuff. Right. And guess what? You're going to get 50%, 50% of the transaction fees that goes through their business from now on. So my point, I'm telling you this guys, when you graduate from copy and paste rentals and you go into 
agency to partner, the goal is for you to start building anti-agencies. What do I mean by that? You don't want to be confined to whether or not you get a sale. That's what agencies have to deal with. You don't want to be confined to whether or not like, oh, the, uh, they got a ranking or, or something yet. <laughs> That's not the point of agency to partner. The point of agency to partner is to plug straight in to what they already have going. So if you guys are having trouble getting bookings and stuff like that, you need to divert your attention to being becoming a partner of these businesses more. Not just a fulfillment partner, not just telling, oh, I got a sale here, go and, and drive the bus around. No, get them to switch to your assets. OK, give me a second. I'm going to answer the questions at, towards the end, Terrell. All right. Um, so so. Like you get to free these people from Stripe and PayPal, you get to free them from uh, expensive payment processing fees that they're in. So so these same partners that you guys already have a quick conversation would be, hey, um, how much? Are your transaction fees like when you get a sale? Like how much does the the credit card processing company charge you? Oh, that's hot. Well, since we're partners already, it would be in your best interest for me to go ahead and help you save on those processing fees. I can remove them all for you. Let me take them all away for you. Boom. Right? <laughs> you ain't got to know too much. Just you're gonna put them on the phone with these guys, and they're gonna do the rest. That's it. That's all. Then you can. Uh, so 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 let, let's just backtrack for those of you who don't get it. As soon as their stuff is switched over, their payment processes, payment gateways, all of that, the for, the moment any sale comes in, even if you didn't bring the sale, this is why it's important to find partners that are already doing good, because that means they're already getting sales. And if they're already getting sales and they switch over to your processing company and you have 50 percent uh, agreement going, that means you start getting paid from day one, from day one, guys. Don't be stubborn. Do not be stubborn. Start plugging into your partners with the 10 monetizations. I'm trying to save your life and your time and all of that stuff. I'm trying to help you, right? Don't be just stuck getting bookings. That's cool, but that's the that's that's the beginning. That's only the beginning. It builds up trust uh, with the partner that you're actually trying to bring them something, but it also builds up confidence uh, that you can do the business model. That's why I, I congratulate you guys when you come and tell me that you got your bookings and everything, all praises. But now that you know it works and now that you know you can do it, now it's time to freaking like scale up. Okay. All right. So I can bring these people some bookings, but <laughs> what can I plug into? That's already working. So you might notice that they have a crappy website or something. Okay. Most of them do. Like we'll go over to Google. Oh, matter of fact, I'm, I'm already over here. So we come to Google. We ain't going to go in LA because they, most of them are pretty up on game. Let's go to the Midwest. Yeah, we can just go to my town. Let's go to my town. Look at it, guys. They're spending money. They're spending money, baby. Put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. Okay. So we're going to open it up. And look at this. It looked like it's from the early 90s. But Danny, where they believe it counts, this is what's getting them bookings. This is why if you were to try to approach them and try to tell them, hey, I'm going to give you a new website, they ain't going to really because they're getting bookings already. So this is why you don't want to approach them with that. You want to approach the bear with more fish, something that they already getting, something that they already like. I'll see more bookings. I'm your partner bringing you more bookings. Now, this is just a side effect of me bringing you more bookings, sir. Hey, look how hard people got to work to find your phone number. Look, the phone number all the way down here. Ain't that crazy? When I click this ad, the first thing I see is not their damn phone number. That should be the first thing in view. They got to literally scour the page and they're paying per click. This is how you know they got a budget. OK, so now guess what? You use Builderall. You can literally go on uh, um, Fiverr if you guys don't know how to do none of that type of stuff. And you can just have somebody put them on an easy converting uh, um, site. And the good thing about it is this stuff can be like cloned out. Like you don't have to uh, uh, do it for every single partner or nothing like that. Hold on. You don't have to do it for every single partner, but they got templates all up and down and through here. You understand what I'm saying? All different types of funnel templates and and all of that stuff. So it's very simple. So what, why am I showing you this? Because an agency to partner, we're building anti-agencies. You want, see, see, everybody think it's all just, it's just about the money. It's not just about the money because once you start getting money, you start realizing you chose the, the wrong business model. What do I mean by that? Why do you think all the gurus who preach this SMMA 
marketing agency crap, they all start selling courses. Why? Because they got the money, but they realized they didn't have the time. It's not just about financial freedom. It's about location and time freedom as well. So in, in the agency to partner program, what we're teaching you to do is build these anti-agencies out of software, courses, different things like that. Software apps, courses, uh, different affiliate products and, and all of that stuff that all correlates with the same purpose. It's the same goal of getting this business owner more businesses and helping them uh, expand or exit, you know, grow and do all of that stuff. So you just find these different programs that will pay you, but will also assist them in their journey for growth. And you just plug these into these businesses in a way that is painless and almost unnoticeable. And that way, when they grow, you grow. You're like the little the little fish that be on the side of a shark's mouth. You know, you're like, damn, <laughs> they never get eaten. You know what I'm saying? They get the best seat in the house, like right there by the shark's mouth. So they eat all day for free. But they also help the shark stay clean of parasites. So it's a mutually beneficial, you know, situation right there. So you're the fish on the side of the damn shark's mouth in the agency to partner. Right. You get free meals 24-7 just for keeping them clean and help and healthy. OK, that's what you want to look at yourself as. I know it might sound <laughs> that didn't sound all glorious or nothing like that, but just look at it like that. You got a partnership with them. Stop just looking at the initial sale of the booking. Look past that. Like, look past that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so, OK. OK, why do I say that? OK, so you switch over to that site. OK. You switch over to that site. Right now, guess what? You would have to ask permission and you'll need access to their email and their SMS list as, you know, like what I was telling you got before so that you can like upsell and do all of that other stuff for people that comes in. But guess what? If they have a site that you created, that means you're in charge of their opt-in forms. You're in charge of the freaking email lists and all of that. So you automatically get the list. You automatically get the list just by plugging in the site. So you got their customer data back here in the merchant uh, portal and you have the customer data when they accept the sites from you. But don't forget this, guys. You're getting them bookings from Facebook. Right. So they probably need chat bots and emails and all of that extra stuff set up a site bot and all of that stuff. This is the section for SMS. Hey, you're missing out on a lot of traffic. Let's come over to his website. Mm, I don't see any site bot on here. What if we had a site bot right on the this side over here that said, hey, text us the questions you have. Oh, my God. And as soon as they text the question, they get a uh, get. Um, where is it? At? They get introduced. Why do they keep moving stuff? OK, so they get like um, what do you call it? Uh, um, added on to the email list and added on to the SMS messaging. So every couple of days they get a reminder about their booking. Hey, man, we ain't collected a payment from you yet. What's going on? Were you serious when you came to the website? What's going on? What's going on? What you want, baby? What you want? OK, <laughs> so, so do you guys understand what I'm saying? You don't have to just sit and think about the booking. And if you're having trouble, it's because you are not upstream. A lot of these people you're going after, you're just going and finding them on Google and you're just rolling the dice. I'm like, well, this seems like a nice company. And you'll contact them and say, hey, you want to be partners? I'm about to send you some bookings. That's cool. That's all right. But the ones that are spending the money already are already conditioned that, well, in their mind, it takes money to make money. So having conversations with them about scaling up ads or scaling up SEO as a partner would be way more simplistic than somebody that you don't see investing to, uh, in growth. Like, I don't know who this is or, or, or one of these guys. You understand what I'm talking about? So properly select partners so that you can easily plug in your integrations and start making money from it. On top of that, guys, I don't understand how much you can crack the whip. They can do the content. They can be the face because they're the company. So you can literally go and purchase a YouTube channel, purchase already monetized YouTube channel, purchase a already monetized TikTok account and have them just filming the parties that they do with permission of their customers and stuff like that. That's content, which is a whole new income stream on YouTube and on TikTok. Don't work as well for Instagram Reels, but you can try it. And they're the one creating the content. You're just putting it on a platform, scheduling it out and doing all that. And guess what? You just share the AdSense revenue or whatever sales come from the social medias and all that. These are things that these people aren't even considering or thinking about. 
And all I'm doing is being that dang on uh, fish on the side of the shark mouth, making sure they all right. Here, hey, you don't have this income stream. Let me plug in another income stream for you. These business owners don't know nothing about this stuff. I hope y'all get it. Let's come, look here. We come over here. They got, this is a whole different one. Get a free quote. Now, this person is way better than the other one. You know, at least it got the number visible and stuff. So that's good. Uh, free quote. So I ain't going to be too difficult. They got two of the most important parts right here at the top. So that's good. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're good. But I want to have a free quote form. Forget that quote crap. Put the prices there. I love their site, though. I love I love the video, man. This is very attractive. I know they get leads. I know they do. This is good. Ooh, ooh. Actually, I like this site right here. What is this? Party Bus Express. This is nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This one is a good one to freaking model. You can go on Fiverr and you can uh, give them the link to this site and have them clone it. Like you can just go on Fiverr and instead of just telling y'all because that don't work, let's just go over here to Fiverr and type in clone any website. Okay. Now, take a look. I will copy, duplicate any website, recreate or clone any. This is WordPress. Uh, design, build, or clone any custom full stack website, website in Wix. Wix is super close to the Builder Raw platform. So if you can clone in Wix, then he'll be able to do the Builder Raw as well. Or you can just type in uh, Builder Raw. Boom. I'll redesign and redesign all kinds of funnels using Builder Raw. Boom. You can have this person take this. this stock videos party bus or get some videos of your partners or something like that and ta-da there you go this is awesome <laughs> i love this site right here man i do so they did their thing they got the quote form there they make it easy to get a quote if you want a quote uh they call if you want to call uh did they put the prices yeah that's the only thing they're missing they putting the prices right there but i'm pretty sure it's just based off of how this site looks that they should they, sh they should be doing decently they should be doing decently for sure. So we X out of that one. This is good too. Uh, it has the quote form right here. <laughs> Me, I like to make sure I don't care about how it looks. If it's ugly, it does not matter. That number should be right near the quote form, right? It's too small. That mug need to be a button like right here or right above here. I want them to be able to click and call. You understand what I'm talking about? Or, or buy or whatever we want. Okay, so this is. It's not a bad site. It's definitely better than the first one that we saw. At least it got the quote form right there. Um, but party, rock star party bus. I can't even like imagine how many leads they miss out on. That number all the way down here in weird places and stuff. Guys, look, this is crazy. Anyway, but my point is, guys, if they have the site that you gave them, the 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 site bot that's helping you gave them a, a it's a booking uh form on there and all of that stuff that's collecting all this customer data you collecting customer data in here well guess what they're gonna have to pay you for they're gonna have to pay this builder all subscription or guess what that means they lose the site and they lose the customer data so now you got this is just two of them uh, two or three of the monetizations that you plug in so you're slowly turning it in, into a software company you're becoming a software um i don't know what to call you but <laughs> you're an anti-agency right <laughs> and you use this software and affiliate marketing to fund it this is why we don't need them to pay us a monthly payment because we're going to get money off of the deals pause and we're going to get money off the, the the stuff that it takes to increase their revenue different softwares is going to automate different things and all of that stuff so right so this is what i'm talking about all right. So like I said, this is just two guys. This is just two. And then you partner with the funding company. Right. And guess what you can do? Like if you think it's a game, like watch this form store, got form equipment. Some some cities, it'll be called form store. Other cities, it'll be called form equipment. You know what I'm saying? So let's just, uh, let's just do Louisiana. OK. Look at this high ticket stuff. Look at this one. Thirty two thousand damn dollars. Look at this machine right here. A hundred thousand dollars. Now, I know your partners aren't freaking um, uh, formers, probably not. But guess what? Let's see. Party bus. OK, forty nine thousand was fifty five thousand. OK, so a lot of them might not have cash out of pocket, but an agency to partner with what you would learn to do, what you would learn to do in agency to partner. Let's click on one of these. Maybe they're doing it already. Price to sell. Look at this. This is what I'm trying to teach y'all. 
Oh my God, I know they're making a damn killing. This is what I'm trying to teach y'all. You're so focused on collecting this that you don't realize if you have this right here, then it's easier to get this right here. Most people don't have this just out of pocket. So the first thing they can see on that mug is we got financing, we'll finance you. <laughs> oh, snap. So I don't have to wait to start my party bus business. I don't have to wait to, you know, scale up. I need more vehicles, blah, blah, blah. So guess what? When you got these partners and stuff and you're asking them about their fleet, you letting them know, hey, we're about to start scaling stuff up, but we don't want to overwhelm you. How many drivers do you have? Oh, we got enough drivers. How many vehicles do you have? Oh, we have. Is there a limit to um, what's the limit to how, how many trips you want coming in? Oh, well, we can handle this. Oh, so that means it's true that if you had at least one or two more vehicles, you'll, you'll be able to scale up through the moon. Yeah, but right now I just can't afford this. Ah, ah, let me stop you right there. We have financing. We don't want any blockades or obstacles to impede your growth. So let us finance you. So that you can get, I even have a vehicle in mind. Okay. <laughs> you hit them up with that. And they're like, well, how am I going to get this? Then you give them the, the financing. So I already showed you guys who I financed through. So guess what? You get three to 12% of the financing loan. So you partner with the right financing company, you get three to 12% of that loan. So that that you get you just got paid from that. Next, when they if you partner with this with a company, let's see if they got some type of advertise with us terms of service uh, blah 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 i don't know who these are but find one of these type of guys that's selling these things and find see if they have some type of partnership or something now when the when the part when, you, when your partner come to the site to purchase you made a partner out of the site itself so you got paid from the loan and then you get paid from the actual dang old purchase of the vehicle <laughs> so you get two three thousand dollars out of the dang old uh, 50 grand this is what it means to be a partner. You're supposed to partake in everything that's beneficial of the company. Not just you getting the booking commission. You got to think bigger. You got to be on a bigger level. You got to think, man. All right? So these dudes, they got, they got financing and stuff. That's what you're supposed to do. Let them know you got financing. Because if I'm just an untrained eye and I come here and I see, oh, man. 159,000. Oh man, I wish I could get that. Man, I wish it only got 19,000 miles. Man, I wish I could get that. What's this one? 142? Man, I wish I could get that. Ta da! Financing available. See, guys? So, so in agency to partner, you're not just getting the booking. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to tell y'all there's so many openings. You don't even have to, you don't even have to approach talking about bookings. You're like, yo, you probably need some more vehicles. Let me help you get some more vehicles. It's so many ends. With, with the agency to partner, building an anti-agency. Hey, you need equipment. You need office equipment. You need new vehicles. Hey, we need to save you on, on processing fees. Hey, what's your email list situation? Oh, you ain't collecting. You ain't following up with people. That's why you ain't getting a lot of bookings, right? So it's so many ends. You don't always just have the approach with the booking angle. They hit you up with the, oh, we already getting bookings. We already getting enough bookings. Okay. This is why when, they, when you go into a doctor's office, they, they don't just assume and just hit you up with, hey, you look like the type of guy that might have influenza right now. <laughs> no, they ask you what's going on. Where does it hurt? What are your symptoms? How long has it been going on? Then they go in the back after they draw a little bit of blood and, uh, and try to assess that and come with a, an educated guess because they don't know for sure. <laughs> and they come in there and say, it could either be these three things. Here's a medicine for them all. <laughs> You want to know why? Because they get paid when you go to Walgreens and you fill that prescription. See, doctors and dentists, they're affiliate marketers too. Boom. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's move on. Okay. So let, let, I already told you I wanted to, what I wanted to show y'all. If you're in copy and paste rentals and you are getting your bookings and stuff, now is the time for you to start like making more with your partners. Okay. It is time now. Let me answer some questions in the chat. If you're an agency to partner already and you haven't made any money, now it's time for you to start plugging in. You got to plug in. It's not just about the bookings itself. If you chose right, they were getting bookings before they met you. So that's not all that impressive. Now it's time to start talking to them about plugging in money leaks. Oh, you're leaking money over here. You're leaking money over there. Hey, who did your taxes last year? You understand what I'm talking about? You start plugging in, man. All right, let's see who got some questions. Let's go to the chat. Plug your, plug your questions in the chat now. It is about that time. 
Uh, Terrell asks, he says, so run Google ads to generate leads or look for potential clients on Google. Oh, I'm sorry if I didn't uh, specify. Not for clients. It is for uh, um, to get bookings. OK, you run the Google ads to get the bookings. OK, um, you get the partners from the same platforms that you are on. That's that's those are the upstream places wherever they are spending money trying to show that they are trying to make money. That's exactly where you meet them. Hey, I found you on Thumbtack, which means you're willing to pay for leads. We're on the same platform. So I know you're willing to pay for leads. You get uh, Thumbtack charges us 15 to 20 dollars per lead. But guess what? I've been able to get bookings. Have y'all have y'all told any of them yet, yet how cheap you're getting bookings on Facebook? How cheap you're getting leads on Facebook? See, they don't even know that stuff. See, y'all don't think you're doing anything impressive. But if you've been, if any of you guys have been running your ads uh, um, on Facebook and you've been getting leads come in at, at three, four bucks or six bucks or even eight bucks and stuff, they would kill to be able to get leads that cheap. So you already have a badge of honor. You don't even know what you're worth. If you guys have took the steps to put up your thumbtack, you know that the leads cost at least over $14 in most of the cities. So if you can get them all the way down at three, four or six bucks, just that is a reason for them to work with you and stop worrying about the whole scope of things. A lot of you guys are looking, you're looking at the top of the mountain and it seems like it's too big, pause, for you. There's only a couple things you could do in that situation. You can make yourself as big as the mountain or you can stop trying to look over the mountain. I don't know if you guys ever walked up a hill before. But if you just look down, like maybe you got your headphones on and you've just been looking down and stuff like that, and you just walk one foot in front of the other, before you know it, you're at the top of the damn hill. But if you had looked up the hill before you started walking, you might have said, you know what? It got to be another street I can go down. <laughs> it got to be that, that mug is too high up. I don't know. Right. So you got to climb the mountain like inch by inch, pause, inch by inch, or at least feet by, you know, whatever measurements you can do to where you don't feel overwhelmed. You guys are thinking about the 10 monetizations. I talk about the 10 monetizations and you start feeling overwhelmed. But the reason why I always show this one first, I always show this, the the, the payment processor uh, um, monetization first, because it's one that you'll notice an income, um, income increase in yourself quickly, just by this one. Quit focusing on the 10 altogether and say, okay, which one of these? Okay, I talked to this partner before. They seem open-minded. They told me some issues they're going through. Which one of these 10 would be the easiest for me to plug in? Just plug them in one by one. Not all at the same time, but one by one. Before you know it, you'll have multiple. And not even, I didn't even mention, guys, this is what I'm talking about. You, Y'all need to watch Trojan of Troy. If you know about uh, what happened with the, the Trojan War, I believe, right? Uh, the gift, it wasn't really a gift, right? They didn't have soldiers inside the giant horse that they sent in there. But if they approached any other way, like it wouldn't have been, a, been no way in. They had to give them something in order to get something from them. And that's been business all along from the beginning. So what's your Trojan horse? What if you give them the website? Okay, so now you gave them the website. Watch this. Just by you giving them the website, that does multiple things. You automatically get access to their new SMS and email data, booking calendar data, leads that come in from the site bot. Oh, you gave them a website as well? Guess who has to verify that website? You do. What does that mean? You are the one that is there when the, it gets approved for Google Ads. So you're in control of that, <laughs> that income stream. So now when people go to that site and they come through the quote form and they end up on the thank you page or one of the information pages, the AdSense that you put on there, you can pay from. This is what I'm talking about, instantaneous money right there. So what do you mean? Oh, David, well, so how do we get money from that? All right, well, let me just show you. All right, this is why you wanna pick a partner that is already making money. So that's Chicago. Pick a partner that's already ranking high. I don't know why they ain't got no website, but let's see. Who got a website? All right, so we come to this website right here. Boom. Okay, so the worst thing you could do 
is uh, interrupt transactional. Uh, um, um, I can't think of the words right now, y'all. I'm, I'm recovering right now. But <laughs> you don't want to get in front of any transaction. You don't want to disrupt any transaction. That's what I'm saying. So you wouldn't put AdSense on the homepage. I did that before and it messed up my freaking like sales. OK, <laughs> uh, you don't want to like disrupt any traffic streams. OK, so what happens is what you do want to do is like, let's say a person click on book. We'll just fill this out just for the sake of this. Uh, oh, my God. I know they're going to hit me up. I don't feel like it. Okay, so let's, let me put a different email. Okay. La, 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 Nah, I ain't going to play with them. <laughs> well, there ain't no choice. I'm not serious. So, all right. So, we click submit. What the hell? What is wrong with their damn form? Oh, hold on. My bad. I didn't put the et symbol. Okay. Submit. Where does it take us? Ta-da! Look at this. I told y'all they don't know nothing about this stuff. It literally just says, thank you. Your information has been submitted. It doesn't say, hey, calling us would, you know, confirm your booking quicker. It doesn't say, hey, by the way, for your special day, here are three restaurants we partnered with to get you 10% off. It doesn't say none of that stuff. On top of that, it doesn't have any ads on the thank you page. They could at least put that. That's like the most basic monetization they could put on there. So it didn't interrupt the um, the lead um, the lead collection process. But once they get to the thank you page, they've already become a lead or a sale. So it's fair game from there. So you could put the AdSense on here. You could put an upsell on here, downsell something. You understand what I'm talking about? And you get easier access to that stuff if you are the one that already owned the damn site. So let's come back out here. Let's go back. Come on, man. Jesus. All right. When I say they're already getting traffic, that means if you're going after people that already have up Google ads, all you have to do is say, all right, instead of you running your old rust bucket website that you have, we're going to switch it out with the new and improved site that we just built for you. So you're literally just switching out. So the site that you gave them will automatically just start getting traffic the same day that you switch it out with the ads that they already have running. If they're already ranking on the first page of Google in this spot right here, they're getting crazy traffic already. All you have to do is get access to their Google business profile and switch out the website. You're just going to edit it and switch out the website. That means from day one, people will be going to that site, becoming a lead, and going to that thank you page. Then you're going to be getting AdSense money, upsell money, all of that money. And guess what? Since they're your partner, you can choose to split that with them. <laughs> I said choose because it depends on how you work your agreement. You can tell them, hey, um, since I'm not charging you monthly, I'm going to get you know, the income that comes from these extra plugins that I'm doing, or you can split it down the middle or 70, 30, whatever the hell you decide. This is your business. But this is the benefits of being an anti-agency versus being a marketing agency. Yes, you can plug these things in as in a regular marketing agency, but the more you look like a, a, a marketing agency that they're familiar with, that they hate, the less cooperative they're going to be when you're trying to plug in the 10 monetizations. You're going to have hell trying to do that. Why? Because when somebody pays you wages, they feel like you're their slave. So they don't really want you to get anything extra off top. If they're paying you three, five grand per month, they feel like you just better be satisfied with that. But but, but the freaking roles of authority switch if you don't need them paying you nothing. Now you're in a position of power. Hey, if you want me to keep bringing you this money, you got to do what I say. You turn them to an employee for you. OK, so that is the power the agency, the partner gives you. And you don't have to have a million uh, uh, clients or partners on top of that. You don't have to. <laughs> you start plugging these in before you even get the bookings, before you even start plug getting them more bookings. Just start plugging in the stuff. That way, that's going to motivate you even more to get them great results. You're like, damn, I was making money from you. Uh, off this partnership with before I even started like ranking you higher or or helping you run ads or bringing more people, right? Because if they're already ranking right here, they're already getting bookings. So if you plug in just this right here, <laughs> if they get a booking today from the site or or in person or something like that, then you you start participating immediately, immediately. You understand? So any any other questions in the chat? Okay. So he says, how can we start 
payment process or through paid kings. Okay. Um, you're in the agency to partner. Okay. So you would have to get the, your referral link or your, your payment link from pay kings. You need to reach out to them and get your partner to sign up through them. They're going to get on the call with them and get them switched over. If you're talking about how to get a payment processing button for yourself on pay kings, then that's something completely different. They're going to want the same thing they're going to ask them for three to six months proof that you can bring in a certain amount of money before they actually do this. So since you guys are new, that's what I was telling you before. Since you guys are new, I mean, I would just collect the payments the best way that I know how to collect the payments and use uh, Cash App and Zelle as your resume so that you can circle back around and show pay kings like, OK, pay kings, I've been getting money consistently for three months. All right. I need a custom payment gateway on the site. OK, so that is what you want to do. Another hack is to build a, a directory instead, because then they'll pretty much just know off top that you're trying to be in scale. All right. So if you have a, a party bus rental directory type site or something like that, they're going to expect volume and it might be an easier way in. But if you don't have uh, any experience in managing a directory and all of that, that by itself can be overwhelming. So I recommend just continuing with what you're doing. Oh, he said, I did not get approved for Easy Pay Direct, but I got approved for Pay Kings. Oh, well, you get what? How the hell you get approved for Pay Kings, but didn't get approved for Easy Pay Direct? I'm super, super uh right. <laughs> I'm thrown off with that right there because Pay Kings, they like a stuck up Catholic virgin chick, right? Like they're like, no, we're not doing anything until you <laughs> what? Ah, oh, damn. That's that's where I was at. Yeah, we gotta talk. Like I gotta. I got to know how the hell you, you got them to accept you. Okay. So what you need help with? You're talking about like uh, applying it to your site or something like that? That's something that they're going to do. So since you got approved, you literally have to like find your representative. They should have uh, assigned you a representative and they usually have their numbers at the bottom of the email. So you're just going to contact them and say, all right, what's the next steps to getting this applied to my, my site? And then they're going to take your uh, products. They're going to ask you what products or packages you have. And you're going to tell them and tell them the prices and stuff. And then they're going to create the uh, situation for you. So that's how that runs. But congratulations for getting the proof of pay games. Wow. All right. uh, I'm a fan now. You hear me? <laughs> like out the gate. You hear me? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So any other questions before I ride off? Any other questions, y'all? Shay said, I get it. And I did pivot my niche to the auto industry. Do you have any suggestions? Um, it's going to be the same groove. You're going to do the exact same thing. As far as suggestions for uh, rentals, you will want to get this situation a little bit different with, de uh, uh, with dealerships because um, they're not individuals, obviously. So putting them on a platform for, uh, is, this, is this for auto sales or is this for uh, rentals. If it's for rentals, then you need to be on Toro, uh, get around. What's the other one? Toro and get around. Those are the main two that you want to be on, but they're definitely going to have to give you, um, like insurance information for each vehicles and the location and all of that stuff for the vehicles and all of that. If they don't mind that, then that's cool. That's cool. But yeah, the auto industry is going to be the exact same process. And the funny thing about the auto industry, they're way easier to talk to than a lot of these other niches. You got to keep in mind, these are the people that spend money on stupid billboards. So they just got money to blow like Drake in the early 2000s, right? So, all right. She said, rentals and auto repair shops. I have an idea of an approach, but the main thing is the plug in the monetization methods. Yes. Dog, y'all don't understand how much, how quickly plugging these in can change your life. <sighs> I was just talking to my wife about this. Like I was talking about her uh, I was talking to her about the fastest, my fastest times in of scale. My fastest times of scale was when I was just giving away value. When I was doing the Godfather of drop servicing and I was just giving away a beginner's course for free. I was just giving it away. But like even without intention, I wasn't intentional about it at the time. I didn't even notice. Everybody just kept asking like, dog, how do we get the site built? How do we get a site built? And I said, uh, I mean, you can go on Word. You can ask somebody to build you a WordPress. Site. They're like, but it's, I ain't got that much money. I don't, you know, do you have a site that we can use or something? I'm like, do I have a site? 
So I went on Builder All and I noticed that they had the cloning feature. I was like, oh, snap. And I was like, okay, but a lot of these people are in a situation right now. And I told them that I wasn't charging them anything to learn any of this stuff. So what can I do to help them get results, get money and get confidence? So I reached out to Builder All and I was like, do you have like a free trial for this, man? And he was like, yeah. And I said, well, I can't find it. Can you show me? And they, they showed me where the free trial was. So <laughs> I went and got the free trial link, right? And I wasn't trying to sell no course. I didn't even have a course until people started asking me to make one. I didn't have no course. It was I wasn't trying to even be the godfather of drop service. And at the time, I just knew more than most of the people making the video. So I just felt like some real information needed to be out there. So I was just on there live streaming, uploading multiple times a day, trying to flood the algorithm with my drop service and content uh, before everybody else. And everybody was addicted to it. Right. So the, the my fastest times of scale when all of those people were signing up for the free trial was when I took the walls down. Right. I didn't have a price for the course. I gave the course away for free. I didn't have a price for the software. I said, here, just just here. I'm going to send you the site. But in order to get the sites, in order to get the chat bot, they had to sign up for the free trial. I didn't even recognize that at the point. But I just knew if they were to make a sale in that first two weeks, they'd be happy as hell. So a lot of them did. And that's how they became paid customers of Build a Raw. And that's why y'all see the the fourth uh, it was around 13,000 at the time in build a raw it was it wasn't because i was out there trying to sell sell software or talking about software it's because i gave away all the godfather drop service and uh beginners course stuff and told them whatever they wanted to know so my point is whatever way you can plug into the business do that be a value quit focusing just on getting a sale of this or a sale of that just it's effortless if you can just look at their goal what do they want more than anything Map that out, give that to them, and guess what? They have dog. If you give somebody Shay, watch this. If people want the treasure and you are a person that sells shovels, don't talk about the shovel, talk about the treasure and the way there. Because who the hell wants the map to the treasure if they're gonna get there and they can't even break ground? So along the way to getting the treasure, they got to stop and get a damn shovel, okay? So if we look at business like that, guys, we can make business owners see us as that. I'm just a shovel, dude. Like, you you want the treasure? Let's get you the treasure. But what are we going to dig with? Our hands, empty hands? We bet, you better hope it rains so that it can, you know, the ground can soften up. You better hope, right? So it's the same thing with the business owners. What can we uh, get that will offer us a reward, but also help them in their ultimate goal as well. The ultimate goal of a business is to not go bankrupt and to grow. So if you can help them plug money leaps, leaks, which is what taking away their payment uh, process and does, which is, dog, it's endless. You can uh, get them a new CPA, not a CPA offer. I'm talking about like, make sure they're not uh, leaking any money. Have somebody like do an audit, a money audit and make sure they're not leaking money. Make sure, like see if there's any other, um, um, what is it damn called? I can't even think of it <laughs> on on your taxes, something that um that you can put on the taxes to woof, but sorry y'all i'm, I'm my mind my mind is just jacked up right now, but yeah, like all of these different things position you to really look like a valuable partner. you're plugging money leaks, and once those leaks are plugged, you're adding you're stacking the money on top. they have no choice but to go up now. At first, they were just struggling to float with all these leaks. It's definitely hard to sail the seven seas when you're constantly using buckets to get the water out the damn boat. You can't even focus uh, on going ahead. You see, like, oh, look at all these plugs. Like, we're going to be at the bottom. We're going to be under the sea. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's what most of these businesses got. They running ads and they trying to, and they think they can fix every problem by getting more, more customers and stuff. Like, that's why, I be, that's why it's difficult for us to get clients a lot of the time because we think the solution to everything is more customers. No, it's not. Sometimes they need to plug the leaks that they got before they can even focus on it. All right. Terrell says, I also want to get into the 5K program and I'm trying to work something out with the team as I did not get approved because my credit is shot right now. I try family, parents and friends and everyone around me is struggling. What are my options? You can. The best thing I the best idea I would come up with is to partner with someone that believes what you believe. Okay, so you just got 
uh, your first couple bookings. You going, you going, going ho at this. You believe in a business model. You just want to scale up. You want to do the 5K payday speed run. Just in case y'all don't know what he's talking about, the 5K uh, payday speed run. That's where you spend five days with me. I haven't done nothing like this since the last boot camp, which almost killed me, literally. Uh, <laughs> all right. But this is a five day. It's not a freaking 10 week boot camp this time. All right. 5K boot camp. And I'm going to be showing you guys or the, those that are in there um, how to pull off a 26K in one day move. All right. How to pull off a 100K in one week move and how to pull off the 14K in less than uh I think it was what, 15 days move. All right. So that's the five, uh, the 5k payday speed run. If you're a gamer, you know what a, a speed run is. Okay. So that's what he's talking about. In my opinion, man, the best thing you could do. I mean, I will talk about the money. <laughs> Don't talk about, Hey, I want to get in this, uh, this 5k program, you know, cause I'm going to learn, you know, all of that. No, no, no. Talk about the end goal. People don't care about your higher education. And I know it's sad. It's very sad. I know. I get it. I care about your higher education, but most people don't. Even family and friends, they could care less. Right. Especially if you've been trying to do this entrepreneurship thing for a while, like they're not going to come around until you are already halfway rich. And that's very sad. I know. I get it. I get, I get it. So the only thing you could do is band with other people who get it, other entrepreneurs. So if I was you, that that's who I, I would be turning to right now. Other people in the group. Maybe it's somebody else in the group that want to do it. And now if you guys do it together, then it's something completely different, right? So that's what I would do. Make a post in the group. See who else want to go uh, with you on a 5K speed run. That's that's what you should do, man. Just being honest with you. Talk to them about the money. Hey, I'm about to learn how to do 26K in a day. You're going to want to be around for that. Let them know that. I'm pretty sure you're going to want to be around when I know how to do 26K in a day. I mean, who wouldn't want to be around for that? Like, yo, David said, I, I, I can invite you on a 5K speed run if you help me in. OK. All right. Anybody else have any other questions? Questions. Questions. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. So, guys, it is awesome talking to you guys. Congratulations again, Terrell. Congratulations, Mark, when you see this on getting the second booking. Um, good job. Um, uh, Shay, like, keep going hard. You understand? Switching the niche. Like, just go hard. Just if you focus on the fact that you're not like when you, you can't switch the niche without switching the mindset. Since you switched the niche, what I mean, not switch the, uh, the niche, you can't switch the model without switching the mindset. OK, um, if you just continuously focus on getting the bookings or talking about the bookings only and all of that, that's when it's going to be difficult. If you're like waiting till you get somebody a booking to plug in. That's when you're going to wait. Don't wait to talk that uh, to start that conversation. When I talk to these people, I like to let them know. <laughs> and I'm like, how much is all of this going to cost? I say, you can't afford me. That's an insult. <laughs> you can't afford me. You know who you think I am? You're going to give me fifteen hundred dollars to do your SEO. Who you think I am? You understand? No, you can't afford me. How about this? Since you don't know me and I don't know you, I'm going to prove my worth because I want to write my own check. You're not going to write my check for me. I want to write my own check. So what's going to happen is we'll circle back around and talk about money when we get to 100K. Oh, my God. They ain't never heard nothing like that before. So you're telling me you're going to work with me until, until we get to 100K without me paying you? Yes. That's exactly what I'm saying. So when are we starting? And you're like, what, what David? I, I don't get it. See, that's what you're not paying attention. The 10 monetizations is going to fund you. See, if you're focusing on that upfront you're not going to be able to see the 10 monetizations. It's going to hold you back. Now that they know that they're in debt to me, they're indebted to me. Yo, this dude finna do all this stuff. They think I'm finna do all this stuff. <laughs> but this dude finna do all this stuff and I ain't got to pay him till I get my first hundred. That lets them know multiple things. It lets them know that you're in it for the long run, which makes them soft on you. And it programs them. It You're indoctrinating them. They're like, hold on. So this dude actually believes without a shadow of a doubt we're gonna hit 100k i mean he putting his money where his mouth is like he he told me don't even talk to him about money until we hit 100k now, they never heard nothing like that never so when you're trying to plug in these 10 monetizations they ain't gonna give you no problems at all if you're talking to them like that hey I'm, I'm about to send you these bookings don't worry about paying me i'll holler at you when we get to 100k in sales 
What? 100K in sales? What are you talking? They don't know what the hell you're talking about. Don't worry about it. Just go on with your regular day. Make sure you answer on the phone when these people call the book. Boom. If you are having trouble in the agency to partner, it's because of that. Don't focus on trying to get anything from them. If they try to volunteer to pay you, that's cool. Your goal is not to be an agency anymore. Your goal is to be an anti-agency. You want to be a partner. So think, you got to think like a partner. If I'm a partner, I'm thinking on how can we scale this company? And, and fortunately for you, most ways that you're going to scale the company also have affiliate programs. So these are ways that you can make money while you're helping this company without them paying you out of pocket. Oh, fortunately for you, most businesses need new equipment. Oh my God. Equipment rental and equipment for sales sites have affiliate programs. What? Huh? Super high ticket commissions? Funding companies that you partner with have referral programs. Oh my God. What? Really? You're getting paid way more than the little stupid retainer that they can give you. They ain't trying to pay you that high if they don't know you. If you're not famous, if you're not some big agency that they've already heard of, or if you haven't put them in some sequence where they've seen 20 testimonials and stuff, the 30 testimonials, they ain't trying to pay you nothing over three to maybe five grand. See, Samantha was able to pull that off because she knew them gems. She, she was a customer of those gems for years. But you just mean somebody today, it can happen. I'm not saying anything's impossible, but it's very unlikely that just even if you send them some upfront, they hit you with the, hey, I can I can do five hundred dollars a month. <laughs> I, I could do. Uh, can, can we start off with a, a thousand bucks? And that might sound cool or delicious to you. But to tell you the truth, that's chump change in comparison to what's going to happen when you plug into them and you start helping them grow. Then you'll get the that thousand dollars in the first damn week. Like who the hell needs that right now? You understand what I'm saying? The more they pay you up front, the less cooperative they're going to be when you want to do your thing. I promise you that. OK, um, Terrell says, how would you go about getting leads in electrical and auto repair? I'm working on my SEO site. Is there any hacks you have for this? Getting leads in electrical and auto repair. OK, so you can go the traditional route. It might not be as competitive as we think. You want to rank or run ads for rewiring or electrical. So we got electrical, electrician, like we can find residential, commercial, contractors, blah, blah, blah. Circuit breaker, installation. What type of uh, jobs are you trying to get more of? Old house rewire. So these are the type of keywords you want to start ranking for full electrical. Journeyman. Okay, but what type of services? Ooh, 22,000. That's pretty damn good. Okay, so we got, yeah. So what I would do is I'll start trying to rank for home rewiring. You say, I'm not sure you have to call them. Yeah, yeah, call them. So what you want to do is you want to find gaps, guys. Everybody watching this right now, pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. Find gaps. What kind of gaps? Gaps that make it to where your competitors are your collaborators now. So what do I mean? All right, so we're over here. The reason why I ask them what type of jobs they do is because everybody don't do the same jobs. Somebody might be a specialist. So if they're a specialist, that still means they're missing out on a whole different income stream from a different service. So let's say it's a person that only does um, this one right here. Uh, I'm just making some stuff up, right? Let's say that they only do circuit breaker installation. Okay, so you go to their website, they're getting a lot of traffic. They're ranking at the top of Google for circuit breaker installation repair. Okay, what if a person goes to their site and sees that, hmm, I also need something else. You know what? I might need a whole rewire, okay? So what you want to do is, who the hell is this? You want to turn your co uh, competition into your collaborators, okay? So you find people that are in the same industry as you, but but they don't offer all of the services that you offer. So you let them know, hey, while you do the circuit breaker installation stuff, I'm going to give them a free quote on a rewire or um, you know, something like that. That's what you want to do. Partnerships are the key to everything. On top of that, what about this? Uh, damage. There we go. Damage restoration. 
So when a lot of those storms and hurricanes and all of that stuff start to happen, it can mess those houses up. So they might need water damage restoration. And if they need water damage restoration, they might need something dealing with their electrical as well. So if you partner with these guys, they're already ranking at the top of Google and they do mold remediation, water damage and fire damage. It don't take nothing but five minutes for them to look at them, request a service. What does that mean? They're open. They're open to doing other services. Right now, they don't have it. It ain't. They, they're telling you to tell them what other services you want them to do. If I were you, I would reach out to these guys and say, hey, we do this, we do that, we do this. These different things occur when there is water damage in the house. Um, put a button on your site, go into our page and whoever comes to us from you, if they become, they uh, convert into a customer, we're going to give you 30% of that or 20% of that, whatever you feel is comfortable percent of that. Boom. And I would do that with all of these people. I would hit up all of them, every last one of them. So now you're leveraging the traffic that they're getting all damn day. When people come to their site, click that button. Those are free leads for you. The partnership method is the best method. It's more powerful than just playing SEO. Why? Because you can rank immediately. What do I mean by that? If they make a page for you, you're on the page immediately. <laughs> they're already ranking. Yeah, they're ranking for water damage, but you're still going to get leads. If it says, hey, if you got if you have water damage, then you probably have some type of electrical problem too. Let us come down there and just make sure everything is all right, just in case. And then you make partners with the other electricians for services that they don't provide or don't feel like doing. And this is how you'll grow faster than any other electrical company in the city because you're not looking at people as competitors. You're looking at them as collaborators. And when you look at people like that, you can have an endless supply for the demand. Yeesh. Yes, Lord, man. Yes, Lord. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, use this stuff, man. Use it. It's going to change your life. And it's going to change your partner's lives as well. Anybody else? Any other questions before I go? Here I go. Here I go. Here I go again. All right. Well, this replay will be reposted. Might put it over there on YouTube, too. It was pretty decent. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, just post them in the group or inbox me. Terrell, make the post in the group. See if there's anybody else that want to do the 5K payday speed run. Let them know, hey, if you're trying to do 26K a day with me, partner with me, man. Let's do this. Uh, you are welcome, Shay. And good job on that pivot. Just go ahead and focus on the partnership. Don't just focus on the sales, okay? Just ignore that right now. If I was y'all, I would ignore like sales right now and look more to being a leech, <laughs> a, a mutually beneficial leech, okay? <laughs> but you, in order for you to be any type of leech, that means you have to latch onto them first. If you can't achieve latching onto the partner, then you can't even be a leech, can you? Okay, even if you're beneficial, you can't even be a leech until you latch. You need to get a partner to allow you to latch onto them. And the best way of doing that is hitting them with the irresistible offer, but taking away any risk for them. Hey, I'm not charging you anything. I ain't charging you no setup fees. I ain't charging you nothing. We're going to take this company to 100K in this amount of days, and you ain't even got to give me nothing. Just stay out my way and let me work. Boom. Just talk to them like that, man. Be real. Be real with them. Just stay out my way. Let me work. I'm going to plug in this, plug in that. Don't forget, guys, they're going to cover the cost of everything. You're just not charging them service fees, but they still got to cover the cost of ads. They were If you picked them properly, they were already running ads before they met you, so it ain't like you got to talk them into it. If you pick them properly, they're already doing SEO before you met them, then you, you ain't got to talk them into that. So that's what I'm saying. You just start plugging into them. 